shrink at the rate of three sixteenths of an inch per foot. And we couldn't calculate, because of the, those uh, uh, complicated curved surfaces, we could not calculate how the, the uh, pattern could be distorted so that when this metal did behave this way and shrink, that it would shrink in line with what we hoped the end product would be. So when Tom and Cullen and I ground uh, the, all those three forms, and finally tried to assemble them. We found out that we, those surfaces that had shrunk away from one another and warped away from one another, not only in terms of just four inches of shrinkage, but four inches of warpage, so that they didn't approach one another in any way. We were only able to get three essential corners together. All other surfaces were out of line. I was watching the pieces come in out the back of the shop, wondering what they were, wondering who goofed. What the heck it could be? I thought the metal was just twisted out of shape. <laughs> Frank Podusky works for Bill Smith, William Smith Company, and uh, he's a master uh, fitter and, and welder. He can do anything with metal. He moves large steel plates with heat and pressure in a, an, an incredibly understanding way. When we first really called upon him, we, I thought we, were, we couldn't do it. And he said, no, we can do it, but it's just going to require a a really extended effort and if it were not for him and following his advice uh, we, we couldn't have gotten that piece of sculpture together well I'll tell you I had to, I studied that thing for about three days just to get an idea of what it was going to look like when it's finished because no way did it come anywhere near what he expected it to I mean it was way it, 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 the, the contour the, the, the curves nothing met one edge was up maybe four or five inches, and it was about six inches open in the center. I mean, it was, it was really rough. But we talked for a little while, and then um, Bob and I worked together. We got our ends, outside edges together, we tacked them up. We can afford maybe an eighth of an inch or something like that, and we can take that off. Now, if it was too thin, we'd have to build up this low spot with weld, then grind it smooth. And it was all, most of it done by using our plain old eyesight. So I come up with ideas with different type of dogs for, for forcing the metal up into place and squeezing here and squeezing there, clamping here and clamping there, and finally pull it down to place. There's a confusion in the minds of people they think that great works of art come out of great thoughts. That's not true. Great works of art are an accumulation of very simple thoughts. And each stage that a person moves in is as simple as the one that he moved uh, into before. But that's cumulative in the maker, so that the, the total net expression of 20 years of experience seems to be a major thought. But it isn't. Great things don't come out of great thoughts. Great things come out of a sequence of small thoughts, small experiences.